guess who's here? It's Doug Benson. <laughs> Welcome, my friend. Yeah. Hugs. <laughs> it's okay. You don't, Party handshakes. You don't need to hug him. It could be a bit awkward. Thanks so much for being here. Oh, I know you're crazy busy. Me. I know we keep in touch online, but it's hard to get you in person because you're mm -hmm. a busy man. Yeah, traveling. Touring. It's a hard, is it a hard life as a comedian? <laughs> no. Is it as hard as it's being a right. pimp? You have to travel a lot, don't you? I do, I do, but I feel like comedians are on the road so much. It's like comedians and rock stars. I'm on the road so much that I'm kind of like uh, George Clooney and uh, up in the air. Yeah. <laughs> Ruggedly you know? handsome. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about this new documentary of yours. The movie chronicles you and one of your favorite friend comedians. Graham Elwood is, is my friend. Is your and friend. this movie is the two of us on the road together. Yeah. You know, we have differences, but uh, it's, you know, we get along fine. This movie is mm. virtually conflict free. It's really for <laughs> stoners that just want to see. Stoners don't what, like conflict. What a fun. Like, no, no, man, yeah, don't. There's no reason for it. So this movie is just like a fun look at life on the road, and, and you know, they show a lot of my stand up and then a lot of you know, smoking sessions with the fans after the shows. You're a giver. No, that's the crazy thing is that uh, as much as I enjoy buying my own marijuana, it's it's given to me so much that I don't have to. What if it's laced? <laughs> is that like a fear? That's what people ask me all the time. Like Joe Rogan that won't smoke weed that people give him because he's, terri <laughs> no, he's terrified. because people that don't like him. <laughs> <laughs> that's not why. He's, I, it's his fans, my fans. We have a lot of the same fans. And I feel like if someone goes to the trouble of buying a ticket to your show mm -hmm. and carrying around something that's probably illegal wherever they are yeah. and then slipping it to you, there's probably not an end game practical joke of that they're trying to, you know, mess you up in some way. If anything, they just are all very like, this weed's gonna get you so messed up. Like they're very proud they of it. They wanna one up they're your very, last session. They want they think they're gonna get get me the they highest I've tweet. ever been. Let's talk about this follow-up. So because Super High Me came out, but like why continue in this documentary world? Because since the like six or seven years since Super High Me came out, I've been asked constantly, when are you gonna do a sequel? Yeah. And the answer is always, well, what I, I quit smoking weed for 30 days and then smoked it constantly for 30 days. What's the next movie? 60 days or? I, I mean, do it with crystal meth. Yeah, that's yeah. the yeah. People always like, do, up the drug. do alcohol. You know, like uh, somebody in, I think in the UK did like a super Guinness me or something like that. And I'd be passed out after 12 hours of that. Like that's the point of super high me. Yeah. Is that there's probably no other substance whether it's you know whether it's McDonald's or coffee or alcohol, there's nothing else that if you consume it constantly, it won't just wreck your life after a certain period of time. Mm. And that's the point of that movie. So now all these years later, Morgan Spurlock was sort of an inspiration because you know he keeps making documentaries and he did one called uh, The Greatest Movie Ever Sold, mm. and that's about putting product placement in a movie to raise money yeah. for a movie about product placement in movies. Mm -hmm. And so, greatest movie ever rolled is me going on the road to raise money to make a movie about going on the road to make money <laughs> for a movie. That's awesome. Does he ever say anything to you? Have you yeah, he's super nice about it. And he's going to be in my next movie. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. I did a little interview with him for my, so for my, next, for my next film. Well, his next movie. Are you movie, breaking news? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jeff. His next movie was uh, called Comic Con. It was about Comic Con in yeah. San Diego. So the following year, I went to San Diego with cameras, and we filmed it, and it's gonna be called Chronicon. Ah, uh, snap! I, and, I got uh, that one. <laughs> so he just stops making movies, and you're screwed. No, he's he's still making movies, but I'm screwed. His next movie <laughs> is about the band One Direction. It's their 3D concert movie. He's doing the One Direction he, 3D doing concert that? movie. Yeah, that's what's trending. So this uh, this documentary. The greatest movie ever rolled is on chill.com. Mm -hmm. What went into that decision? It's kind of the, you know, Louis C.K. started it with his $5 yeah. comedy special thing. But since it's a movie, it's like 90 minutes long mm -hmm. and has, you know, real songs by real bands in it and stuff. So it's $8. Do you have bundles on the side? I know that Chill mm -hmm. gives you the ability to Chill put is bundles. super into bundles. So you can also get a shirt that says on the front, I almost forgot to buy this shirt. Funny. And then on the back, uh, greatest movie ever rolled. This is the perfect, actually, week to be checking out this movie, chill.com, the greatest movie ever rolled, because 420 is coming up. What will you be doing on 420? I will be in San Francisco recording my next album Ooh. at a comedy club there called Cobbs. What's the ideal way to celebrate 420? Come see me. 
do that. <laughs> or just tweet you, follow you. Or go you. see your favorite band, yeah. or follow me, or get Greatest Movie Ever Rolled. Get, you know, get, get, drag out your copy of Super High Me, maybe have like a party and a double feature. Wow. Because it's Saturday stuff. night, you got to do something. Yeah, there you go. Check it out right now, chill.com. Thank you so much, Doug Denson. We did it! Woo!